Gentlemen, are you sure about this? We haven't got time to give you background. It could happen at any minute. Are you expecting gunfire? Not if we can help it. Would you get the attention of your staff? Uh, attention, everybody. Attention, please. Now, we are police officers. Now, listen for a moment. In a minute or two, we are expecting a possible armed robbery. What? A robbery? Hold up an armed robbery. Armed robbery? Well, what are we supposed to I'd like you to go about your business, stay at your station, do your job as you normally would, and we will take care of the rest. Just act calmly. Act calmly. Settle down in. Do your business. We'll take care of it. Give me a jacket. Give me a jacket. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Get back there, okay? Stay out of sight. Get back there. We couldn't do a thing. Beat me. That bastard. He killed my partner and he beat me twice. The way we handle the dead. A lingering whiff of aboriginal terror surrounds them, so we rush to close their eyes, cover their faces, and put them deep in the ground where they can't hurt us. But it's not quite that simple. Oh, it's easy enough to bury the dead. Burying the past is a lot tougher. We'll be in touch, Miss Garfield. I really didn't get a good look at it. Well, think it over. Maybe you'll come up with some. Let's go, Frank. Uh, Detective O'Brien. Yeah. I'm sorry I screamed. I panicked. I was just so scared. I just didn't expect. Next time, do what you're told. They found the hostage around the block. She's dead. How did I know that? OK. All right, Christine. That's the mug shot in every squad car in town, all right? Tommy, I had him, I had him, and I let him get away from me again. You sure it was Revis? I've had his face in my brain for six years. Yeah, I know it was Revis. It's got to be tough on Nikki. Maybe you should drive by there. Well, she doesn't have to know. This guy kills her husband, comes back after six years. You don't think she needs to know? Well, what is she going to do about it? Well, she'll know. She'll hear about it in the news. I mean, you wanted to find out about Revis that way? I'll tell her when I've got Revis. Did you drop by and tell her what's going on? You can do it better than me, yeah? It's your job, Kevin. Revis is my job. Jokes and laughs aplenty. What are you saying, folks? Well, what are you doing, How about you, Whitney? It? Hey, you want to check these things out? How are you guys doing tonight, huh? Just fine, honey. Hey, listen, you know what these babies can do? Let's say you're having a slow night. 
could stack a bunch of these babies on a bed and have a great time. What do you think, huh? I never have a slow night, Whitney. Bet you don't. <laughs> hey, 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 say you're at a party, okay? The guy you're with doesn't want to come up with the money. You pull out this little baby, all right? You lean on the counter and you go, hey, buddy. Oh, man, what are you doing to me, man? Look at that. What are you doing to me? That's pretty well, Whitney. Hey, he'll give you money. I guarantee it. How about this, huh? Italian weddings, they love this humor. I never went to any Italian weddings look like that. They don't wait. Hey, man, what are you doing here? I'm gonna break here, will you? Here, Jim, both have yourself a good time, will you? Listen, we're not playing any games here, Whitey. Who gave you the tip on the bank job? Hey, no, wait, wait, wait. That, that's not the deal, okay? I just give you the information, that's hey, it. Listen, we call the shots in the deals, okay, Whitey? No, 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 man, I happen to call in this time, okay? There happen to be some very nasty people involved in this thing. So if it goes down, it's on my neck, right? So I told you what was going down, that's it, no more. I'm not getting through to you, am I? I need a name, Whitey. Hey, look, I'm not just some punk, you're roughs on the street here, okay? Yes, <laughs> Listen, one of the bank robbers' names was Jake Weavis. Ring any bells? Oh, man. All right. Davey Morenzo. Oh, thanks, thanks, White. Hey, but listen, you didn't hear that from me, okay? Hey. Just left Kevin. He said he was going to be a little late tonight. A little? Looks like I'm driving home alone. They busted up a bank robbery downtown. Is anybody hurt? None of the good guys. <sighs> One of the bad guys was Jake Rivas. Did they get him? No. No, he got away. Where's Kevin? He's out searching for Rebus with everybody else. He'll be all right. Right. He's looking for the man that killed my husband. How is that supposed to be all? He can take care of himself. So good, Tony. You all right? Yeah. Why don't you let me do that for a while? I'm all right. Enough, Tommy. Put yourself out of business that way. You're gonna put yourself out of business that way too, Tommy. Hey, Pop, you leave customers standing at the door. You're gonna have to <laughs> pony up for a maitre d'. <laughs> hey, don't you newspaper guys ever work? Yeah, he's working right now, aren't you? Research. Research. Hey, what kind of place you think I'm running here? <laughs> It's all right, Pop. It's all right, Pop. I married the girl. <laughs> Come on, hose them down if you have to. Hose them down, yeah. Hey, hey, look, why don't you take her and get out of here? Both of you, go. Yeah, are you sure it's all right? I mean... No, take it out of your face. When you're the boss, you can stay till it's closing. Come on. Uh, no can do, Nikki. Why? Uh, Kevin, tell her. Why? Well, a couple guys hit a jewelry store tonight, and they put a guy in the hospital, and... Hogan canceled all leaves. And the police department can't get along without you two for one night? Well, him they can do without, but me they need. Come on. Hey. Come on. Jeez. Hey, hey, what are you worried about? A couple of years, I'll make boss. I'll be home for dinner every night. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Can I help it if I have a partner who wants to wipe out crime forever? Hey. You look at this guy. Will you look at him? I stopped by to say hi to the bride for two minutes. He acts like his shoes are on fire. <laughs> Okay, Scorchy, how's it coming? How's it coming? You're beautiful. <laughs> Listen, I'll knock off in a couple of hours if nothing's going on. Oh, Scout's on it. 
<laughs> You'd have to lay it all off on me, you know. Hey, get yourself a wife, and I'll tell her that I'm the one pushing to make the city a safer place. Nothing here. If we look long enough, we'll find something. All we're gonna find out is the sock size. Did. You are in it up to your neck. Give us Morenzo. It's your only shot. I want a lawyer. A lawyer is going to tell you what I'm telling you. You're part of an armed robbery that resulted in a homicide. That's felony murder, lady. You're going to be old and ugly by the time they let you out. I is that the way you want to spend the rest of your life? I believe you, Terry. He used you to get information about the bank, and now he's going to throw you away. Why cover for him? You have to give me a lawyer. Now, you listen to me. These men and there are going to be judges and lawyers and juries, and they won't understand either, Terry. Give us a little help, and maybe we can help you. If you don't help us, Terry, there's nothing I can do. She ID any of them? She doesn't know a thing. She was just as surprised as we were. You don't buy it. Oh, give it, Dan. That snake was her boyfriend. One way or the other, she's gonna give him up. Hard way or easy way, it's your call, Kevin. If you can't scare her, make her a deal. Frank, what are you sitting there for? Will you go down to records, find out what you can about this woman? We got anything on her? I want to hear about it. Go on. On the way. She still yells at me like I'm a rookie. <laughs> Gentlemen. One police officer, as requested. Hi. Lieutenant, uh, this is the man you wanted to see, Jim Bone. Oh, good work, Freddy. Looks like a real mean one to me. Officer Jim Bone was the first man on the scene at the jewelry store. He got a pretty good look at a couple of the robbers. Take him with you. Might be able to give you a hand. Jim Bone, we squared with your sergeant. You're going to be on special assignment with us for a couple of days. That's great. Thank you, sir. Well, where are we going? We start by checking this out. Make it fast. Guy that was shot at the jewelry store just died. William Edwards. Willie the Weasel. Watch me unload this garbage. Hey, uh, Jam, uh, Jam Bone, is that your name? Yes, sir. You got a good break here. Now, look, uh, this is a real good lead. William Edwards. William Edwards. Yeah, you see, but the problem is that uh, everybody in his building knows us. Huh. What do you think, Kevin? Well, I don't want to give it up. Yeah. Oh, no more. You think you can handle this information, kid? What do you want me to do? 
Tony, he is a kid, like you said. Well, him. we'll send Carson with him. Well, know. look, if he plays his cards right, I mean, he can get a gold shield out of this. You're take the heat if it goes sour, uh, you know. Well, right. well, listen, uh, uh, whatever it is, I can handle it. I can handle it. Well, all right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell Carson that I want you to check this out, okay? All right, thank you, right. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, take this. Yeah. And good luck, kid. Hey, kid. Yes, sir? I think you better get out of that outfit. I'm gonna make you for a cop. Right. Okay, Carson? Yeah. We're gonna be working on this case together. Hey, Willie hasn't come up with a straight tip in 10 years. Yeah, it'll probably turn out the whole gang is rooming with Willie, and the kid will end up with a medal. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, this is our bust. I mean, I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Well, all these years on the job, you still treat every call like it's a major bust, don't you? Why shouldn't it be, huh? Why not, huh? Why do you think we'll leave this squad in collars every year? Well, I figured it was luck. What luck? What are you talking about, huh? Because they'll never let it get dull. Yeah, I'm dull. Hey, you let it get dull for one minute, you turn around, you're 50 years old, your stomach is hanging on the desk, and lunch is the most exciting part of your day. Come on, will you? Follow the kid! Kevin, nothing. Nobody's talking. You think maybe they're nervous? Huh? Think maybe they got something to hide? I think maybe we ought to find out. Well, what about it? You feeling nervous? No, I'm not nervous. Huh? What is this, huh? You hump? What do you do with this, shave? Huh? Do you shave with this? No. No. Huh? No? Where are you going? Hey, huh? just a minute. Hey, hey, wait. I don't have your ticket to the dance. Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at this guy. Will you look at this guy's sweat? You ever seen anybody sweat like this before? No. Hey, come on, man. I'm clean here. I got nothing on me, okay? Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't smell clean. Spread your legs. Come on, come on, come on. Spread your legs. Now, I'm going to put my hand in your pocket. Now, you haven't got anything there that's going to pinch me, do you? Huh? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because if I put my hand in there and I prick my finger, my knee is going to enter your future. I ain't going to keep hand. All right, here I go. Here I go now. You sure there's nothing in here now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh! Voila! <laughs> Whitey has Whitey. What the hell is that? <laughs> that's not mine! That's not mine, oh, man! Oh, that's not mine! You little stinker! You've never seen that before! If you're planning to leave town, you let me know. We're gonna see if I can get your blade back. You're very cute. All right, thank you very much. I'm sure I'm gonna see you very soon. Bye-bye. Hey, what the hell do you guys want, huh? Did you hear anything about that jewelry store robbery went on tonight? Huh? No, man, just, just, just what I read in the papers. That's it, okay? I swear to God. <sighs> Control substance, Whitey. Be, uh, what, your third offense? Wasn't it? Oh, you kid me, man. You, you planted that stuff on me, man. You're not gonna bust me. Why not? Hey, hey, hey look, man. If I find out anything at all, I will give you a call, man. I promise I'll give you a call. Come on, man. Give me a break here, will you, please? No keys. No keys? How are they gonna load the stuff, Whitey? Who are you gonna connect them with? Con connect them? Who, who told you that? Oh, terrific guesser, ain't I? <laughs>
they called me up, okay? They said they wanted the name of a guy that would uh, to take the stuff off their hands at a discount, right? And, but they never got in touch with me, and they never called me, you know? So I never gave them nothing. Right. I tell you the truth, that's it. Right. But you're, you're going to get in touch with us as soon as they get in touch with you. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, 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 good. Okay. Good boy, good boy. That's all. Okay. Now you're gonna call, aren't you? Oh, hey, man. Yeah. First thing, man. No, don't call your mother. No way. No, I got, I got my own phone. Right, man. Go, 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 go. You think he's gonna call? Yeah, I think he's gonna call. I think he's gonna call too. <laughs> Jam bone. Here, not very good, but you get used to it. Oh, great, thanks. All uh, right, get the phone, so I gotta go down to records. Uh, Mid-South, jam bone. Yeah, yeah, listen, is uh, Rimbo there? I'm afraid not. Uh, you wanna leave a message? I, I work with him. You work with him? Yeah, I work with him. Yeah, listen, I just wanna leave a message with him, okay? Back already. Hey. Don't worry about it, kid. Hmm? Sometimes things just don't pan out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you ought to take a look at this. It's going down tonight. The guys from the jewelry heist are making a meat defensive stuff. That's good work, kid. Yeah. Hey, I'll take it from here. Hey. Hey, hold it a second. I gave you that. Hey, I said good work. What do you want a hand? Here. Terry Garfield? And I'd like to speak with my client. Oh, she's in talking with my partner right now. Arranging her release, I trust. Arranging what she's going to do with the rest of her life. You're certainly not going to tell me that a responsible young lady like Miss Garfield can't be released on her own recognizance. If she's mixed up with those two men, she is responsible, all right, Counselor, for a homicide. But she isn't. Her boyfriend took advantage of her. Oh, come on. I really don't see how she can help you if you won't be reasonable. I don't believe you. Kevin. Accessory is not an unreasonable charge, Counselor. Under the circumstance, it is. You want her cooperation? She's got a job. She's not going anywhere. A job? You mean in the bank she was helping to rob? Really? All right. But if we don't get full cooperation from your client, she's finished. Understood, Counselor? <laughs> of course. Explain it to her now. She's got a job. I could tear him apart in a courtroom. And your lawyer explain it all to you, Miss Garfield? Enough. All right, let's hear what you got to say. I don't know where Davy is. You have to believe me. He was supposed to meet me, but he didn't show up. That's why I went to his place. I got scared. All right, Miss Garfield, what do you suggest that we do now? I think he'll come to my place. Trust me. Smart guy, Davy. Neighbors up here are having one hell of a fight. I hope they don't scare Level Boy away. Why don't you try banging on the wall? The way they're going at it, banging on their heads wouldn't stop them. Some guys get all the luck, huh? He's inside and he gets entertainment. Squad car can have rats. Yeah, I once knew an old sergeant who swore he had a nest of them in his sector car. Said the damn things ate his lunch every day. What do you think, kid? I don't know what he brought for lunch. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, what do you know? Willie actually came through. Hey, 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 hey. Two of us, one of him. He's the guy that needs the backup. Come on. Stay with the radio. What's what? Hey. Keep 
Got a visitor coming up, Cole. Got it. Now you be gentle with him, Cole. Him and me gotta have a long talk. Kid gloves all the way, Kevin. Let's go, Frank. at the hospital. something. Kevin, you know me. Well, what's it look like? It doesn't look very, very good. You find a bastard that did this. You got me. He'll do what he can, you know that. Uh, took you home. Did you call 
close your eyes and rest. I'm right here. I guess I'll be staying at home for a while. <laughs> Could have arranged an easy way to do it, you know. Time to go, Mrs. Rimbo. Doctor said only five minutes. Okay. I'll get it right the next time, kiddo. You get those two guys you were looking for tonight? We got one. Good. I guess that makes it all worthwhile then, doesn't it? She's in pretty bad shape. How long before we can ask him some questions? I couldn't say. Oh, that's a nasty hole you put in him. Is, it, is there something you can give him? We're not in the same business, O'Brien. I'm trying to keep Mr. Morenzo alive. We're trying to keep some people alive here, too, Doc. By shooting them? Doctor, your patient and a friend of his took a hostage in a bank robbery and they shot her in the head. Now, we'd like to find that friend before he kills somebody else. Oh, I don't know what you'll find, but uh, go ahead. Talk to him. So, where is Rivas? You're O'Brien. That's right. Now, you give him over, Lorenzo, and you'll save yourself a lot of hard time. I'm doing a lot of hard time right here. <coughs> He's wanted for at least two homicides, Lorenzo. A cop killing's one of them. You put me here, and you want my help. You must be crazy. Now, you listen to Go me. Go to hell, O'Brien. I'll be waiting for you. Good. Well, I'm trying to help you, and you shoot him down like some animal. You better start trying to help yourself, lady. What does that mean? It means that when it gets out on the street that you sold out Lorenzo, it could make Rivas and his buddies very nervous. Oh, you wouldn't. Don't you bet on it. Well, I told you everything. You've got to believe me. If you've got anything to tell me, anything at all, I want to hear it from you right now. Nurse Edward, There's a number. I used to call Davy there sometimes. Nice. Hi, Davis. Time for us to have a little chat, Davis. What do you want, man? Ah! I just did the driving, man. I don't know anything else. Well, then you better make something up, Davis, because I'm tired of being a nice guy. Hey, get him off me, man. He's crazy. You better believe it. This is personal, Davis. Got nothing to do Go with on, downtown. Man, talk to him. There's nothing I can do. Davis Rivas killed his partner. I don't know nothing about that. I can't hear what you're saying. Look, I can't help you out, man. Look, Rivas will kill me too. Then you got a choice: him later or me now. I don't know where he is. I can't hear you. I don't know where he is. I don't believe you. 
Okay, so maybe I can get in touch, you know? Like, set up a meeting, you know? Don't jerk me around, Davis. I am through playing games. I want Grievous. You don't know Grievous. You'll kill me. Not if you play it right. Come on, O'Brien. I brought you out here. Now let me get the hell out of here. What a sock in it, Davis. Detective Jambo, Mid-South. Patch me through to Lieutenant Hogan. All right, I got something on my shirt. What are you looking at? We've been riding together a week now. I was wondering, um... What? So why do we get the drive? Here. Maybe he's at the back. Real sorry to hear about your partner, O'Brien. Nobody's talking to you, Joe. Don't. What's the best they could give you, O'Brien? Shut up. You. Anybody else got anything they want to say? Go for a little ride downtown. Watch your head. Next time you let me make the first move, you got that? Yeah, I got it. At least till we get to know what is what. All right, you drive. Don't tell them what'll happen if I let you guard the prisoner. Freddy, where the hell are you? Be there in about three minutes. Tour for you, sir. Gotcha. Got a bad case of the jumps, Jimmy. You scared me, man. Come on. I scared you. What's your problem, Weasel? Look, Jake. They made me do it, man. You know what I mean? Just 
the lucky guy, O'Brien. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, man. Oh, man, you were hoping to blow me away, weren't you? Uh -uh. I'm not gonna let you. I'll take a few years in the can, man. Hell, I can do that standing up in my head. And when I come out, me and you, we're gonna... Settled. It's finished now. You can't shoot me, man. Most people don't see a lot of killing in their lives. For them, death is the stuff of horror films and television shows. It isn't quite like that where I live. I see a lot of dead bodies in my business, and most of the time it makes me think I ought to try another line of work. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule, and I guess I'd have to count Jake Rebus as one of them. I didn't feel any pity, any sorrow, any grief when that black bag was zipped shut. All I felt was relief. Shotgun wasn't fired? The automatic sure as hell was. He was shooting all over the place. So Brian dropped him? Yeah. Saved my life. Looks like a clean shoot to me. We want to see your reports. But I don't see any problem. Six years. It's a long time to wrap up a story. Yeah. Well, it's over. For a minute there, I thought you'd had it. I don't know how you saw the shotgun from where you were standing. That's why they pay me the big bucks, Frank. There are a couple of real hot shots, two of us. <laughs> Kevin, watch your back. Watch your back! Something. 